the story is unbelievable. The headline is unbelievable. And this man is a hero. The headline is a Minnesota dad uses a shovel and a moose antler to kill a 77-year-old sex offender who stalked his daughter. Now, I want to be very clear here in telling the story that I am 100% hoping uh, that he does not spend a single minute in prison. And I, that's part of the reason that I'm covering the story. I think that there have been some GoFundMe started for him, people that are raising funds for his defense. I cannot imagine what a father would do. Having exhausted all other options, I just can't imagine what else could have been done here. So this father's name is Levi Axtell. He is 27 years old. He essentially walked into a police station covered in blood and said, I killed a guy. Now, why did he kill a guy? First, let's start with a little history regarding the man he killed. His name was Lawrence Scully. Again, I mentioned this. He was 77 years old when he was a convicted sex offender. The court records show that Scully was also committed to a mental institution in 2020, but was later released and prescribed antipsychotic drugs. Now, he was 33 years old, Scully, just 33 years old when he was initially jailed for molesting a six-year-old girl in Minnesota. He entered a guilty plea and was sentenced between zero and five years to state prison. I cannot imagine why somebody who molests a six-year-old girl would be given zero to five years in state prison, but that is exactly what happened. For whatever reason, there, we, are, we are so soft on pedophiles in this society. He remained in prison until 1981 when he petitioned for post-conviction release. Relief, pardon. A document from the hearing declared the state had not served any evidence that he would present a danger to the public, which is incredible because he molested a six-year-old. So I think that that should be enough evidence that he is a danger to the public. In 2018, he was once again facing allegations of sexual misconduct with minors. And this are the allegations that came from Levi Axel. Can you imagine what this father went through? 2018, he sought that order of protection because his young daughter was being stalked, he alleges, by this man, Lawrence Scully. He wrote in his petition that he did not know this man at all, that, the, that his daughter does not know him at all, and that Lawrence was waiting for his daughter to go on walks from daycare, and he would try to talk to her. And he had been there many times at the daycare, stalking children in his van. He wrote, quote, I have seen him parked right next to the school. He is a convicted pedophile, and him stalking and attempting to groom my daughter is completely inappropriate and needs to stop. The request was temporarily granted by Judge Michael Cuzzo, which forbade Scully from going within six blocks of Axel's home. But the permanent order was later denied, as the judge said that the allegations are not proven true. What does that mean, the allegations are not proven true? So clearly, he tried to do things the right way by going through the court system. The right way was denied for whatever reason. And then what happened and how things escalated was that he observed Scully and his vehicle once again parked at one of the locations where his children were present. And he believed that he would reoffend. And so what happened was he went to his home and he broke in and he struck him 15 to 20 times with a shovel that he had found on the victim's deck. Axtell then told officers that he finished the job with a large moose antler. And so this man is now dead. And all I can say is that I hope that the judge presiding over this case looks at this record, looks and sees that he did everything that he could to protect his children. Uh, you guys know how passionate I am when it comes to stalking and really believing that the court systems get it wrong. I have, have as being someone, as being an individual who has gone, tried to go through and do the right thing when I was once stalked. It's incredible. They basically say that until someone actually does something, we can't help you. So in this circumstance, he basically was saying, well, we know that he's a pedophile. We know that we probably shouldn't have let him out. We know that he's been in a mental institution. We know that he is on antipsychotic drugs. We know that he is showing up um, at your daughter's daycare. We know that he is showing up where your daughter plays with his van but we just need you to, what, cross your fingers and hope that nothing bad happens. And this dad said, I find that to be unacceptable. He obviously flew into a rage, and now this man is dead. And I don't feel badly about that. I'm, I, I know that some of you guys are going to comment and say that's very unchristian for you to say. And I'm not even going to say that you would be wrong. I just, when it comes to pedophiles, I am a mother to two young children. I, I can spare no emotion for this man. I am very hopeful that this father will get off. Hopefully he will plead temporary insanity. And I don't know what people expect fathers to do when their daughters, their young daughters, having walk, walking back from daycare, are being threatened by pedophiles. So Levi Axtell, you are a hero in my book. 
All right, ladies and gentlemen, that is all the time that we have for today. I have lots of exciting content coming up for you exclusively on Daily Wire Plus. You guys already know. You're going to hear me talking about it nonstop until it's officially launched in a couple of weeks. We're bringing a shot in the dark to Daily Wire. It might have a different title. You might, I mean, you might be calling it something else altogether, but it's going to be great. It's going to be amazing. And I just can't wait to bring this to parents so they can really learn all about Big Pharma. And I think finally people are ready to hear about it. So if you want to be one of the first to watch it, click link in the description to subscribe to Daily Wire Plus right now. And be sure to come back tomorrow because I will have a brand new episode for you.